we were thinking about if we should keep the common vitality ring as an exchange for the Omni ring. But I guess we're speculating on a ring with the Orion set effect. That should be way better. I, uh, I think I was never that far. Or somewhere here was my furthest I got so far. Here are some shoes. This is also nice. Yeah, sure, why not? Abyssal Shadow Piercer. Free, yeah, yeah. Shit, I or I forgot again. Fuck. Hey. Where is the magic damage going? Is this not shown anywhere? Physical attack, magic damage. So this gets applied on hit also. <laughs> Guess we're doing it like this. Eighteen more damage. Uh, let's go for it. Hundred twenty six. <coughs> I'm not sure about the magic damage. What's happening when I'm dismantling it? Does it really get applied if I don't have a magic weapon? I...
easy. Way too easy for us, way too easy. Some damage. We you we, we got a mythic magical cloak. That's a good amount of gold. bit confused. What to do next? This game is getting really tricky in my opinion. So much possibilities. Real but do you really want to go that way? One wrong decision and you're basically fucked. <clears throat> Another set, demonic set, multi attack on the first turn. And if you have three pieces, also on the second turn. Um. <laughs> Attack all enemies in a single turn. was basically what we were looking for. <coughs> but for now we don't want to change the boot, so this is not an option. But we can keep in mind the demonic set as exchange for the swiftness maybe. Maybe there's a nice demonic weapon. And then we're building around that. What? I don't want to get rid of the mercenary set, but the longer we're waiting, the more I guess we have to do it. This one gives already more armor, as this would be the third piece, so we get 21 armor. Plus combat, 
three times. 36 additional damage output. I guess it's time for it. And some more health from 220 to 250. And when we add this one, 340 health. And some more armor. Less drop chance for new items, but. <clears throat> Still so much gold left. Um. Okay. <laughs> Abyssal shoes. Around about 100 more armor. That's working so far. Okay, then we're done shopping. Whoa, close to 200 attack damage now. Holy moly. When did that happen? <laughs> okay, combat is ridiculous. <laughs> Confusion is not be better than stun wall. <laughs> not even the armor was gone, so no problem. We're pretty good in the damage race currently. But you look terrifying. Mythic Golden Dagger. Hmm. I guess we're exchanging that in a second. What the fuck? This is literally because of the golden set effect. You only have that one ring. But because of that, it's 30 attack damage compared to 9. And then it gets multiplied and we have 282 damage. Juicy! <laughs> and these two rings here.
Good. From 340 health... ...to 450... ...and another 20 att attack damage more. <laughs> when we now upgrade that helmet one more time Ooh, we're going crazy here now it starts to make fun and we still have two set pieces from the mercenary set okay. so this one this one This one as well, because we got that one. Mythic Orion's Destiny. Four hundred and fifty damage. <laughs> is that juicy or is that juicy? We have the same amount in health and close to the same in armor. The enemies are currently dealing 55 damage when they are strong. So I think we should be pretty 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 good for a few more rounds now. <laughs> the next version. It's also here. And when I get weakness, I still have 300 attack left. So, what's the matter? I shouldn't get to. Not greedy. I should stay cautious as it can change anytime soon. Only one effect. You're not watching out. I got another one of this what the fuck i just dropped it and with this we could upgrade it another time Sure, but I guess we <clears throat> sacrifice that later on. Now we're saving up for the next upgrade of the helmet. Then it's totally over the top. What the fuck is going on? The spider. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't want you to steal my gold. A 
a mythic thunder blade 60 magic damage multiplied with thunder items uh, that's nothing mentioned magic damage should be calculated in that overview here as well But maybe it has a reason why it's not shown like this. We can sell these and this one and then we got this helmet. We have the abyssal version. Abyssal, abyssal, abyssal. attack and iron cloud and block okay so he's blocking two times as he has four energy right That could be interesting. Sacrificing the power ring. demonic shoes again oh and that ring that was it We got an eternal magic wand. A mythic recruit hood and rare demonic sabatons. Mm, some nice gold.
<laughs> the upgrades make fun if you have a nice amount of set pieces. This one with sixty additional health, then it's so juicy again. Okay, now we have to decide again. And I'm not sure what I should do. Five hundred sixty two. We're giving away that ring. Mm. We need to upgrade that ring again. Well, it's not as effective as I hope. But we can work with that. Then we got some more health, 6% more penetration. Okay, royal and clans. This was the silver set, I guess. Would give you debuff immunity. Could be interesting as well. No. Not our current playstyle.
Twelve percent less damage. Uh, Twelve damage less, but we got three percent life steal now. Thumbs up, I guess. Four attacks each time. Around about 25% uh, 25 health regeneration, 100 health per attack, up to at least. She's attacking three times. He's reducing my healing. But I don't need any healing currently anyway. We could finally uh, upgrade the shoes again. Next step, the leather pants. Then we should get the uh, abyssal ones. Um, Still don't know what I should do here. Keep the life steal. Or go for more power. I guess I'll keep the power for sacrificing purposes and the life steal. Uh -uh. Add the life steal at the sacrificing. I guess that's what I will do. So, back to fighting, that's the nice about this game, <laughs> you can get interrupted and it's not a big deal. So, attack, finish this round, oh a dragon, a fire dragon.
go. What? Oh, thirty percent power and ten percent penetration. Is that something we want to sacrifice later on? Let's think about it, let's think about it. And there is the first upgrade for it. So it's already 45%. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> we're not exchanging our amulet. But we're definitely upgrading it to the legendary version. Then I guess we can sell this one. Six more battles, a common shard. Let's try it. <laughs> Another one. Okay, then let's fight. Eternal golden chest plate, oh, but only 800 gold. And legendary thunder riders, another 700 gold. So we can shop again. Boop, boop. <laughs> this is so fun. This mer mercenary set really carries a lot. Got the mythic version. Yep, we need that one. I guess girls would love this game as well. Basically this game is more shopping than fighting enemies because you're just sitting in the shop and buy this, buy that, buy here, buy, s <laughs> buy whatever. Oh, this is nice. And you have to keep in mind, we're just getting started in this game and we're already more than three hours into that first round here. When we hit the next floor, floor 8, we don't have four total attacks, we step up to six total attacks. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. 
So let's get this ring now. <coughs> Eternal crystal stuff. No. It would be the rare version, but it's only the common version. Oops. So. Ooh, nice. We go to the eternal version, another 40 health. And toughness, how much toughness do we have now? 120% toughness. So, uh, what does that mean? Do, do we just reduce their penetration to zero <clears throat> and they can't get through our armor or is it just decreasing it by 120% or whatever um, a lifesteal blade but it has the flash set I would love to have <coughs> Orion set and swiftness but I don't know if something like this exists Thousand health. Okay, they are getting spicy, but I mean, okay, that's the last level here. I guess it doesn't matter, we can finish this fight here, sell this, and now we're in the black market again. We want to get rid of that one here, 25% penetration and 75% power, but do you guys think that we are lucky? Because we have an uncommon and uncommon version here. If we are lucky in the shop. Maybe the next level would be possible. But with uh, less than 4000 gold. That's 
tricky, but with a lot of luck. <laughs> Sadly not. Another one of this here. That's not enough. But no problem, if this is a good upgrade, we can maybe use that one in the next floor already. How much penetration do we have currently? 42%. So basically, if we hit a tank enemy, we're just ignoring his whole armor. Close to 70% penetration. Then. Ah, that one more time. Ah, yeah, let's do it. 538. 629 close to 100 additional attack damage and 67% penetration that's juicy so we keep these for the next round That will be interesting when we get rid of the last mercenary sets. Gosh, we have now six total attacks. What should happen now? Nice. Yeah, let's fight. We still have the golden heart if something goes bad. saying how this chest plate looks like but juicy I'm thinking about 
what would be the best way? Should we go for more power? With the dismantling at the end of the floor? Or should we go for a flat physical attack? Because at some point... A few more times power is probably the better way to go for. But at some point the flat damage could be more interesting. I mean adding more combat would be also interesting but I'm not sure if this is affected by power. As power multiplies all attack damage and we are here in the attack damage category logical thinking magic damage is not affected by power that's why when we add a magical wand we only get that magic damage in flat because power is only increasing the attack damage but as combat is being shown here combat is a part of attack damage and it should be increased by the 140% power which means 140% extra if we add 75 combat at the end of the floor it's not only double 150 another 40% 30 extra so 180 additional damage then we would be at 800 flat damage Ooh. I guess that's the way to go what do you think guys am I wrong here that, that must be right that power is affecting all of these things here and if it is affecting combat then this should be quite spicy so we're going for that helmet we're keeping we're keeping so much stuff oh. I need a bigger shopping bag ridiculous to get that one mind control so we have to decide weakness or be mind controlled I'll take the weakness just reducing it to 400 Lifesteal ring would be interesting as well to get some passive lifesteal in. At some point, we'll they will attack our health.
<laughs> Another shard of power. Nice. So much shopping all the time. Nice, we finally got an upgrade for the common ring here. This was embarrassing. Nothing in there, so fire dragon. What is spellbound? Unable to use abilities. I don't have abilities. I just hit you in the face, and your next three friends are gone as well. You see, I just smiled at you and we were gone. My inventory is full in general. <laughs> just want to steal everything from me. Then let's do some more shopping I guess. As we are full, we need some special things. Here, that one for example.
now they can steal from me. Bye bye goblins. If this would have been a ring, I would have totally considered it, but exchanging it for that armor? Mm, I don't think so. That alone was 300 gold, which we got because of these two pieces here. They go from green to blue. Okay. I'm not sure what kind of things they are smoking, but when your skin is turning green or blue, whatever, I think you should reconsider your choices. There, we lost some health. But we don't have any lifesteal. Why do we not have any lifesteal? But we can sacrifice the combat. Yes. Let's sell these. Sell this one. Refresh. Do some more shopping. Hmm. Well. Okay. We have 641 damage. Am I correct with my assumption? Or not? How much damage do we get now? Seven hundred sixteen. <clears throat> So yeah, it added the uh, 70 or 75 percent combat, but that's all. No effect by power. Why is it not affected by power? It multiplies all attack damage. And when this is the attack damage category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, next upgrade. We're adding some more power again. Legendary Emperor's Will. It looks like a nice helm. Not because of the effects, but it looks nice. There's another new set, the Chroma Lure set. Every time your health is about to take damage, negate it, convert 50% of it to poison and apply on yourself. What? 
So I'm just delaying my death. Which could help, yeah, I see the benefit of it. But holy moly. That can hurt as the poison triggers every round then. And especially if you're not playing with six total attacks per round. Ooh, that could be quite painful. This is not worth the exchange for the golden set. But I'm really looking forward to an exchange for that weapon. Not sure which other effect besides swiftness, but I want to keep that swiftness. But I don't think it will be a shadow set. Common ring of power. Oh, oh, it's not paying off, I guess. 18% less physical attack damage then. For a few more percent more power. And as power is not affecting the combat. Otherwise this would be a good choice. Dagger again. Okay, now we have to really think about our life choices. <laughs> Twenty eight times five, as this would be the one, two. Three, four, fifth set piece. This is 130 to 100, uh, 100, 138, if I'm not wrong. Um, this is more than we have physical attack in general currently. And it adds, yeah, that additional combat doesn't matter. But we lose the swiftness effect. And we go down to three total attacks. Is this worth it? Seven hundred sixteen now compared to 
1.18 thousand attack damage. One, two, three hits. No, this one is also one hit, I guess. <laughs> I guess we go for it. I'm not sure if this is the most smart decision here. At least the numbers tell otherwise. I would do more damage in total if I would deliver all six attacks with swiftness. But I currently don't need it anyways. Three attacks, two enemies. One can have more than our attack damage. Yeah, let's leave it like this. And as we're sacrificing the power gem here. We're finally selling the golden dagger. Ah, as we said in yesterday's stream, stop overthinking, just do it. Let's go for it. My intuition said me, to me, go for it. So, let's do it. Nice. Yeah, there we go! Ah, that looks way better. Now the numbers sum up. Because seven, what was the number before? 714? So we are now round about at double the attack damage. So we're all good now. And we got the mythic version of that amulet. don't want to brag but we're currently at one empty set slot so eventually you could find a ring with two set bonus set bonuses Maybe another Orion set ring compared with <laughs> swiftness again. <laughs> uh, the demonic set would be interesting. A ring with lifesteal maybe. Something like this. Fifteen percent life steal. That's close to two hundred health. What we are regenerating with every attack. ring is basically just good for the golden heart 
not more. The flash set has the benefit <laughs> that when we're healing ourselves, we gain a stack of wind blow, and when we attack the next time, we consume one stack and gain bonus physical attack damage. 25% of our max health, which is currently an additional 200 damage. Precious rings anymore. We're sacrificing this one here. Just don't. Looks good so far. What the fuck? 90% lifesteal. No matter, or at least currently, no matter how much damage we get to our health, with the next attack we're full health again. Ridiculous. Too overpowered for now to save for it. But we can take the uncommon version. <laughs> Already at forty five per cent life steal. The problem is, I don't, I won't see the benefit of the flash set in the near future. Otherwise, I would definitely think about sacrificing that ring to have that life steal as a passive. And to concentrate on something else. But I guess the power will do it for now. Still 10 more battles. Nothing interesting. Then we destroy all of you guys here. survived as he blocked two attacks. Another 14 more damage <laughs> equals 250 damage. <laughs>
Yeah, we need more power. The wood set and the darkness set cast mind control. Yeah, I don't have mana. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Stun attack. Are you kidding me? Get out of my way. Physical impact. crazy dazzle is fun I guess if you're only doing dazzle damage the whole time and they explode and you get armor for that amount as well as damaging the target ooh that is a fun playstyle I guess It's not really worth collecting the mercenary sets any longer. As I'm just keeping them for the mercenary set. But I keep the main set bonus anyways so currently we have around about 50 percent item drop chance at some point when we get rid of these we stay at least at 17 percent to get rid of them now. That could be our next power item for sacrificing purposes. Because we're now sacrificing that shard. The next round we stack up on these wooden crowns. And get also some more armor. That's it. That's what we are doing. That's what we are doing.
parry on the first turn. Yeah, you are definitely not my first target. He had to saw his friends suffer. Are you kidding me? This one here. And I want to keep that one as well. As I said, I need to get rid of these now. There's no more benefit in saving these. I mean, they are only eternal, but even if I upgrade them one more time, what is it? Two, three, four more armor? <laughs> Nothing compared an upgrade here. If this gets, uh, I guess it's six more armor, and then multiplied by six, thirty-six more armor. It's a little bit more. That's for the next round. This is for this round. I don't need that one. And this is also. And we got the next crown update and another one. <laughs> and now it would be already worth it to go for the crown now instead of the short. Six more battles. I guess we will see what we will do. I'm dead first round because I killed myself. <laughs> oh, this is why I thought of the demonic set as an potential improvement and demonic set combined with flash set or demonic set combined with orion set that would be perfect at least as a ring and for chest plate and the leather pants or the pants we will go for the demonic set because we get multi attack on the first turn. Let's try it out. If I'm not wrong, we're attacking three times, and as it is the first turn. We're attacking three times all enemies, all front row enemies. So, first attack, these three are gone. Next attack, back row is gone. <laughs> and we have still a third attack left. If I am not wrong. 
Ah, oh, we have even six more health then. But twelve armor less. And if I am correct, we don't get any golds st stolen. And can go for these leggings then. Yeah, I guess it's time to get rid of the mercenary set. Just concentrate on the base improvements here. Mm, let's aim at this one, but we should attack all. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> What's going on? So, basically, I hit attack. And this one enemy blocked two attacks, got the third attack. And now, round two, there's only one more enemy left. And we can hit that like this. Three more attacks, perfect. And later on, if we have three demonic set pieces, that's why I said I want to aim for a ring. Uh, we have multi-attack on the second turn as well. And if there should be more than one survivor after our first attack, we're still attacking all of them. So, some more gold for these leggings. But it doesn't add up to more than three pieces. Here and there, some multipliers. But for the other armor stuff, I'll stick with the Orion set. 84 combat multiplied by 6. One, two, three, five. Five pieces. That means we sell this one, we sell this one, this one. Bye bye leather pants, it was nice with you. And then we got the eternal demonic leggings. Some more armor, some more health, some more gold. Nice. Attack! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we're switching back to the golden dagger. <laughs> no, that's not possible. There's a divine warrior's chest plate. Sheesh. First time that we see that rarity now. And here, after I sold my old leather pants, I get the improvement for it. Nice. Why not? I, 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 I hate that. Yeah, I can't 
do it here, right? Or can I not? Moderating your own chat is not as convenient as I thought. Okay, just getting back into all that streaming stuff. Just found out that I can uh, delete, uh, yeah, it deletes unwanted messages in the chat by myself as well. As previously, the button for it wasn't shown, but as soon as you look into the settings. It works! Okay. Let's continue here. Sell this golden dagger. Sell this armor for a lot of gold. And then let's re-roll a little bit, I guess. another 15% life steal. That's better. There would have been this crown. Not in this rarity, but. Ay, ay, ay. Not the eternal version. Again, we already had it as an option before. Uh, don't want to save up for that. That's a different thing. Yeah, let's save for that X improvement. Okay, now we have the situation I was talking about. We attacked all enemies, or in every lane, we attacked three times, and two enemies are still remaining. Yeah, but this one dodged two attacks, so no wonder he's still alive. This one had a lot of 
uh, armor. We are at the black market again. Now's the question. Do we go for that shard? With 75% power? Or we take that wooden crown with a little less power? But a um, percentage on additional armor. I guess we're leveling that one further up. I think we can get rid of this one. Because I guess we don't get this one shown in the shop any longer. Or at not that or at least not that frequently. So we can get rid of this one and level this one further up. 75%. 1.65k. And now we are over 2000 attack damage. Holy moly. Imagine a weapon having flat physical damage and only that, no additional benefit, nothing else, just flat physical damage. And we sacrifice that. And it gets 205% extra power. <laughs> <coughs> Bye bye. Let's keep doing that. But we're not focused on Dazzle. If we would add some effect damage, then we should probably go for Cinder damage. And probably that's coming later on. Because I have 25% more Cinder damage. If I'm not wrong. But I guess it is just not shown as this was one of the talent points I skilled in the beginning. But for now we're going for the axe here, exchanging that and go to 2.35k damage. We sell this one. This one, this one, this one. Ah, I think we can prepare that weapon and we can 
get that in. Oh, very difficult decision. <laughs> we would get back the swiftness. We could go for three demonic pieces. That would already be 45. Yeah, but still around about the half of it, I guess. Combat is missing. It's just bringing back the swiftness. Now we stick to our current way. Keep going. Here's the chest plate. Oh no, that's vampiric. Oops. I thought this is demonic. Fresh was expensive. Please, what? Also, I'm fucked. Basically. Oh my gosh, that that fast it can all turn around. Return the damage to the attacker. unbelievable and it doesn't matter if we target another enemy as he has parry anyways now I would need something which ignores these effects to fight without the pants, I guess. It's always a good idea to remove your pants before getting into battle, I guess.
No, I can't believe it, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That changes so much in our strategy. Because we will face these enemies again. And at some point it's no option to remove my demonic set pieces. Did we not buy that one? Ah, because we died and it got reversed. Expecting that we are fighting these enemies way more conveniently for quite some time. <clears throat> but as you've seen, so it can turn around very, very quickly if you don't pay attention. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe the way to go is that we remove the demonic piece and go back to swiftness. Orion or flash set with swiftness. That would be awesome. The demonic with swiftness would not solve that parry problem. It's a nice feature, but it has some downsides in it. I want to get rid of you, I'm sorry. I love what you are doing, but 
again I have to unequip unequip me equip me equip me whatever Are you serious? So I have to watch out to not attack here in the first turn. But now I'm good, right? Yes. getting tricky here and there it wants to fuck around with you now we can put these back on Twenty five percent more power. We're sacrificing that in floor eleven, anyways, I guess. We're getting rid of these. But this would be an option to sacrifice. Leveling up a few times. Now we have the wooden crown. Then the golden crown. Maybe the ring by then. Who knows? Let's try it. This would have basically the same effect <clears throat> for less gold. Hey, 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 hey. It's not that easy to be honest. Let's do it like this. Seventy five per cent more max health. Again, come on, this is getting ridiculous. Let's get rid of these pants. <clears throat>
Okay, now I got it. <laughs> Anyways. Abyssal Evercrest's Blade. 4000 gold. Well, <clears throat> I guess we're going for the 100% power upgrade now, instead of 68%. Don't need a flash. So. Stick to that one anyways. There's the flash sets. But this is already a mythic weapon and only has 10 attack damage. Forget about that. We kept refreshing for a little bit too long, I guess. <laughs> we can attack with multi-chain. So... Let's go for this one. Looks good so far, although the armor is not the best, but slowly and steady we're getting somewhere. My problem is that I want to add that lifesteal, but we need way more health, a lot more. Bye. 
percent less, dude. Or we're giving a fuck now. I basically don't care. Get these 9000 gold. Get that additional power upgrade. If we need lifesteal, we'll get it again. I guess that was the right choice. Or at least I hope so. just sacrifice something. Getting close <coughs> to the next upgrade. Mm, that's juicy. Uncommon ring of power. We're attacking without pants again. This is not changing much, it's just improving the rounds where we're not facing guys like him. I like it when it's clicking so much. Uh, we'll save that. There's another one, another one, and we got the next upgrade. Abyssal. Nice. 
but with the next upgrade, there's something like this here. Ring of power. Oh, that would be also nice to think about. Is exchanging this at the end and equipping this instead then. <coughs> We'll see if this will work out as planned. Maybe I end up having no suitable items at all again. Hey, okay. he survived. What's going on there? point I could think about it going for that one finally so we're probably going full focus Orion set here this looks like this will be our way We will see. Ah, come on, I need to take them off again. Let's do this fight real quick. The demonic set wouldn't be so bad in these parry situations. What? Two hundred twenty five percent more power.
Are you kidding me? <laughs> Not what we are searching for. What's wrong with you? Ooh. Leggings, bye bye. My chest. Divine training sword and divine recruits boots. We don't need any of them, but it is 2000 gold. Okay. Maybe not as much as I've expected. And there we have our best friend again. What is he up to today? This looks better. Demonic leggings. Sixty physical damage looks good, but this one has seventy and fifty percent combat. And that one has dazzle, but we aren't working with that. So this one's probably better. And one more time. Oh, I would definitely sacrifice that if I would use elemental power. Black market again. Floor 11 is done. Now's the question Do we go for flat physical damage or that 150% more power?
we had 4.2 with that lower ring we still have more than 4k so if we sacrifice that one now no, 800 additional damage not bad I guess But I guess we're getting closer to the point where flats damage could be a better choice, at least for once, and then again more power, something like that. There we are, <coughs> cinder damage. Not sure if we want to change something. Okay. Another one of this one. Let's try this out. 5.07 close to 6. I mean it's not much but at least I'm wearing something when I need to take these off and I need to anyway now. Changing it back. Oh, we get a lot of more health and armor as well, but we don't need it when you have multi attack. Whoa, okay, they're in the second row, they don't matter. I just thought I'm dying again as in the second row was one of these parry guys but as they are waiting when they are coming into the front row it seems that he did not parry let's go shopping a little bit at least if we find something What's wrong here? Hate to pay so much for the refreshes one last time and we got nothing please clear the floor 
refresh again. I want to keep buying. 100% more max health. If we can get one more upgrade, 125% max health, then we're going for this one here. That will be nice, I guess. This one and this one again. So we got two more upgrades on this. Nice. 150% additional max health. If we equip that, 2.3 thousand health. That would be the point where it starts being interesting to get some lifesteal. But we'll keep that one on. And we're sacrificing that health ring in a second. Cheap ones. Maybe we are lucky. Ah, this one was it. I love it that we don't have problems with it with Blackthorn any longer. In the beginning, when Blackthorn killed us, oh, that was oh, exhausting. Let me tell you that that was not a fun time. Uncommon ring, and with that legendary one. We got some more space in our inventory. Nice. This is ridiculous. Or maybe not. No, oh, maybe not. <clears throat> 
So um, that, um, we have four more battles remaining. I guess we push that floor to the end. Sacrifice our max health ring. And then we're going for another short break. And then we're continuing. Fuck it. This game is insane. So we've spent now more than five hours inside of this game. And it basically feels like we're just accelerating. We just finished the tutorial and now we're bashing all the enemies. And especially if you're on YouTube and you're still watching, but also to the guys who are here in the stream and still watching, you are insane. <laughs> so. I guess this episode will be a three, four, maybe five part video and we will release it day by day, one by one. But if you're still sticking to the video and you're still curious how far we can get, we'll keep I'll keep going, I'll do my best. 6000 attack damage, basically everything is one hit. One more ring and we would have the next upgrade. Come on. Luck be on my side today. God of loot buff, I'm praying to you. Give me that last piece, uh, these last pieces for the ring upgrade. Let's get rid of these so that the shop gets cheaper again. So this one. Come on, give me some more rings. game is really addictive, it's crazy. You basically don't want to end here. Meanwhile, it's so late. Maybe I should start to think about going to bed, but no. <laughs> Forget about it. Eternal ring of power. That's the next version. Should we go for that one? <clears throat> it's not much gold. But 4,000 and divine golden chest plate, another 6,000, and we have the ring. Oh, last round, last round, okay. We didn't get the upgrade for this one. But that's okay. 
Holy moly, 175 physical attack. And it's multiplied by each jade item you have. That's juicy. Maybe at some point doing three or four. And then we would go into the sparkle dazzle direction. Yeah, maybe. We will see. We will see. And we will see. So this one. Choose. 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 A lot of shoes. We can sell this one here. Last refresh. No, that's it. Okay, then get let's get rid of these small wizards. Bye bye. So this is a lot of health. So we're going for this one here, more toughness, more max health, dismantle, perfect. Toughness. Could be worth thinking about. 3.5k health. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. One K health or one K damage? That's the decision here. But yeah, as we've reached floor 13, uh, I've told you, we're doing a short break. It's an intense session. So really love that you are all here today. I uh, really love that you tuned in to the YouTube video. And if you're still sticking to the video, as I've said before, wow. You are insane. Uh, please press the thumbs up button. Leave me your opinion in the comments. And we're continuing in a second for you on YouTube. It goes. Wow, congratulations. You fucked it up again. You're doing great. Uh, for you on YouTube, it goes on in a second see you and you uh, and twitch i'm getting tired but i want to continue fuck it stop overthinking just do it if you're feeling it then go for it and i will further go for it <laughs> 